Welcome back to the channel friends. Today I want to show you something really cool, something I've been using for a couple years now uh, that just got a huge upgrade and that is Navigraph Charts. Boys and girls, here it is. This is the desktop option. There's also a uh, option to insert it into the game and I'll show you that in a little bit, but I want to take you to the new Navigraph 8. The cool part about it, and we'll get into the details, is what you need to know is all of a sudden this is just as good as the Garmin or uh, any other app that has a uh, flight information because now we get VFR maps this was not available this just came out a couple days ago uh, and this is amazing finally a fully fledged uh, chart and map for flight sim uh, it does fully integrate into flight simulator you will be able to see your plane on the map uh, and and as I said, there's also a version of it that's in the game. And I will show you that in a little bit. But yeah, let me take you through it. So, you know, let's start from the top left corner. Uh, you know, this is your search bar. If you want to search for anything, like for example, searching for Detroit Airport, if you see just instantly, you can click on it and it tells you where it is. This little folded piece of paper icon will open up all of the charts available. Specifically, let me show you the easy one. In the taxi, you will see this this looks like pancake or two pieces of paper together that's over, it's called an overlay so you just get to overlay the map of the airport right on top of the actual uh, map of the earth and you can turn down the opacity so you can still see the roads you know there's i-94 going by it and yeah uh super super cool you know full 100 percent and you can zoom in really all the way and the cool part is once you uh, start the simulator you'll be able to see your plane uh you know just taxiing across the map so that's pretty cool uh, forgive me if I give you too much detail I'm gonna assume that nobody knows about this and I think that's those are the people that will watch this video so let's keep going this is really cool yeah do you want to know about you know all the uh, approach procedures the stars the SIDS everything it's all here it tells you what approaches are available at what flight level uh, I mean these are full-on Jeppesen charts as you can see here these are up-to-date uh, for every single procedure on every single airport I hate to say this in the world friends in the world so all right so again we we're up at the top we found uh, Detroit and let's just move on let's clean this up a little bit so you know next up um, let's just move along and show you you can overlay this as an IFR low and it shows you all the waypoints uh, you know, and you can turn on the options here. For example, you can, you can, you know, you can overlay all of these these options like airspaces. Do you want the restrictive airspace, the controlled, on and on as you go down like helipads, right? Helicopters are coming. Same update eleven, helipads. You can have all that. So, um, yeah, super amazing. So IFR, IFR high, and you can see all the air airways. And of course, as I mentioned, VFR, which is brand new and sweet. And this is the part that I love the, the most, right? This is like the populated areas in yellow, any uh, antennas or electricity poles or towers or anything like that is all shown. And so super, super cool. And as you move down, there's a little bit of a icon here. So, you know, that allows you to turn on moving maps and follow me, track north or track the actual plane. This is new. The old version was always, uh, you know north was up and i didn't necessarily like that i like when the map turns with the plane it's just a preference thing so all right let's keep going so that's these are the options that are available on this side <clears throat> excuse me on this side you will get to plan your flights and i'll show you how to plan this this flight uh from detroit to LaGuardia. i've already planned it out but we're going to start from scratch i planned it out to make this easier for us but now uh, as you move down you can see all this other information um, and any reference anything that you need to know to describing the class b airspace and how to how to navigate it and all that this is quite insane here in the pin you can create new pin boards and i'll show you what that means once you've created a flight plan you will need the chart for the airport the approaches the takeoff the procedures you want to know all that down at the bottom right here if you follow my mouse right across the bottom you'll be able to pin all of these charts the cool part in Navigraph 8 they get pinned automatically and you can save them to a new board if you do this flight a lot or uh, you know if you like a specific airport you can come back and, and look at it so 
That's pretty much what you need to know on this side is we can look up things like waypoints and airports. We can make a flight. Um, we can look at information ab about a specific airport or you can look at saved data that you really like. Down at the bottom in the settings, there's a couple cool things. Uh, the scale of everything is, uh, again, you know, how, how, how much information do you want to see? So I like to, to scale it down a little bit. The projection is Mercator or Globe. And what that means is if we zoom out, all of a sudden this is on a globe. But be careful. I have a feeling uh, this has not happened to me, but I've seen it glitch out before uh, in some of the demos. So uh, personally, I like to keep it on Mercator projection, which is just a flat projection. It's when you move out, there's only a flat plane. Auto follow is on. I love it when the map follows me. Uh, standard or CAO chart modes and on and on so all right with that said boys let me show you quickly how to set up a flight so here we are in Detroit we're going to cancel this little chart out for class B airspace we're gonna go new flight and when you do that <clears throat> this is gonna be super super uh, easy of course it's an IFR flight we're gonna use an Airbus a320 we're gonna do a standard at 38,000 feet you can change all of these, but that's pretty standard for a, uh, you know, for an airliner. Origin. So skip all the way down. This is kind of a little intuitive stuff that I don't like. I really wish that the origin and the destination was up at the top. That's how you start a plan, right? But in any case, it's stupid small preferences. You type it, and because I've already looked this up, it comes up. So I will just, you know, up in the search bar, if you've never done this before, it will be KDTW. But I've done it, and wouldn't you know it, it remembers. And I love that about this new uh, Navigraph 8. By the way, I'm not a spokesman for Navigraph, but if anyone over there is listening, I want to be. I love what you guys are doing. I'm all about it. I'm not the best at this, but I'm quite in love with your product. Placement. All right, so destination, we select, and again, like I told you, I already looked this up, so LGA. All right, now, you need to complete this this plan. You tell them where you're leaving and where you're going, right? Down, it's really hidden here, but between the, I would like to describe it as between Detroit and LaGuardia, there's a button called Auto Route on every single one of your plans. If you hit it, High Airways, and Create, and it, it creates it, but it leaves the beginning and the end open with a dotted line. And as you know, you need to select a departure and an approach and an ar arrival, and then specifically what <clears throat> runways, right? So in order, just the way they're laid out, you can do it in any order you want, but it's not very intuitive. You pick a runway and here's the cool part. All of a sudden, Navigraph has weather data and that's super freaking cool, man. So here we go. I'm just for the, you know, the sake of this demo, I'm going to pick 21R and I'm going to add to route. And now I need to pick a departure. So let's zoom in a little bit. And we need basically think of it as connect to dotted lines, right? <clears throat> All right. So click on select. And then I know, cause I've done this flight in real life quite a few times, twice last month and next week once I know it's the Howie three Brook, uh, departure. So I'm going to select it and you see how it blanked everything else out. And this guy is now connected instead of our dotted line. So, okay. Yeah, you, you added it, but confirm it, please add to route. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now is we have that we have a runway, right? We know it's 21 R we know how we leave. It's called the Howie three. Now let's go to New York. When we get there. Oh my God. I'm such a nerd for this. This is insane. I, I absolutely love it. So what do we need? We need to know a runway. Uh, so let's pick runway 22. And this is kind of, you know, I'm just making this up right now. We need to uh, pick an arrival. And that arrival from there is actually this guy, the SFK MIP. So I'm gonna pick that one. I, I know that one because <clears throat> most of the time that's the one I take. It goes through Pennsylvania, New Jersey and comes up. But remember, you just cause you selected on the map, you gotta add it to the route. And you confirm it now it turned green so we're good to go but if you zoom in still a dotted line right we're coming in over lower manhattan i'm sorry over brooklyn and <clears throat> we're not uh, we don't have a connected so uh the approaches and here comes the spaghetti so when i zoom in i know for that one it's the we're looking for the ils 4 which is this one and because we selected it <clears throat> 
we see it here, ILS4. I'm going to choose the final one and I'm going to add it to route. And there we go. We have a completed, a perfectly completed plan. Yeah, there's a little bit of a dotted line and I'm sure we could have chosen proud. And you can actually click on proud and add it. There we go. So we have it complete. All right, now that you have that, I want to show you something really cool. Well, before we go any further, just make sure you save it. Here's a cool button right here called Export Flight Plan. When you do that, up at the top, it's Microsoft Flight Simulator. I already saved that called a Nav 8, but I'm going to just leave it as KDTW to LGA, PLN, PLN. I don't like it when it puts too many PLN, so I go in and delete them. Don't ask me. It's like a, you know, uh, it glitches out sometimes. So I just like to do that. I save it, and it's pretty good. Now, Remember, I told you down at the bottom, all of these things will be listed. So what are these things? KDTW takes you exactly to all of the charts. You look at the taxi and you overlay it, right? There it is. There's our plan leaving Detroit. We know how to taxi. They'll tell us the taxiways. So super easy to follow. But as soon as you leave, we need to go to the Howie 3 RNAV. And there it is right there. It talks about how to... How to take off but did you see what happened now we lost our plan and what happened is when i clicked on this it showed me the chart but you need to click the layered cake here because now it's overlaid over the map and that's this is super cool right all of a sudden you can see our departure and you can follow all of these procedures and uh, you know flight levels that you need to maintain just to make sure that you guys understand i am not a professional pilot by any means i barely know how to fly in flight simulator i'm just a geek for all these details and finally at klga we will look at their taxiways by clicking here and there it is right it just shows us how we're going to come in what runway and how possibly if we have to go around right there it is right there so beautiful and of course, all the ILS procedures. And again, if you if you get to this point, like, oh, what happened to my plan? Well, you know, remember the layer cake, either here or here. Anytime you see these two pieces of paper, that's an overlay. And the cool part is you can do stuff like this, like, well, I just want more transparency. I can't really see anything. I want to, I want to see Brooklyn under me. So super cool. I'm not going to explain to you how charts work. <clears throat> that is a whole lesson on its own. But these are official charts that are up to date and they're insanely, insanely detailed. Uh, so depending on how nerdy you want to be, it's all for the taking. So there it is. That's a flight plan, boys. Now, so here we are in the game. Usually it's spacebar for me. I did not change it. So if I press spacebar, load from this PC. So I go in, I find it, flight plans, and wouldn't you know it, it's right there, saved. I open it and it always takes a moment. So don't freak out. Just take some moments, try and dig it up, and there it is. One hour and seven minutes, fully planned out just like we saw in Navigraph. So super cool uh, integration. I've seen it before, not very often, where it doesn't look exactly like the plan that I made. And I'm talking about in small little details. But overall, through and through, it should be the same. So there it is, boys. There's the plan. With that said, let's go. Let's see, because I want to show you in-game what actually happens. So here we go, boys. On the ground at KDTW. Go up to the top, and wouldn't you know it, uh, you know, you have to install this. It comes with the Navigraph bundle. You click it, and she is loading up. All right, so here we go. It says, a flight plan has been detected in the simulator. Would you like to load it as an active flight plan? Sure, so this is the last uh, flight that I probably took in here. So yes, I'm gonna accept it. I'm gonna let it load in and wouldn't you know it, right? We're right in there. It looks amazing, so. There it is. Full integration, it works. And let's check this out. If you click the little icon at the top and now we zoom in, there it is. Remember KDTW and same thing, you know, it looks a little bit different here. Uh, you know, you can open the charts list and wouldn't you know it, same thing. Let's open that up. Let's overlay it. Th there's a lot of functionality. I mean, I hope I don't have to tell you that you can print all of these things out, right? So there we go. All right, so with that said, listen, um, as you can see in the video, 
you can also put this on your tablet and of course so you have it in the game you have it on the tablet you have it in windows there's so many ways to utilize this guys i really hope that this is useful to you guys um i hate to say this at the end i meant to say it at the beginning there is a price for this it, as of this filming which is the end of 2022 I'm paying something like eight to nine dollars a month and I know that's maybe a lot for a lot of us but just think about how many planes and sceneries we, we pay for how many video games we buy I, I think it's quite worth it this is professional level stuff that we're getting to use so again worth it to me I highly recommend Navigraph it's absolutely exquisite absolutely beautiful if you have any questions please hit me up below i'd love to start explaining how to do an ils landing based on these charts so let me know if you're interested with that said i love you boys and girls have fun out there stay fly